class, settle down. We have a very important lesson today. Welcome to Forklifts 101. In today's lesson, we will be learning the basics of a forklift and how they are best suited for your operation. Forklifts are everywhere and they move everything from the food we eat to the clothes we wear to the products we use every day. They help run the world, so you better pay attention. Hey, boys, better listen up back there or detention after school. Sorry about that rude interruption. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Forklifts are a very important piece of equipment in your manufacturing and distribution facilities, and they help keep the supply chain moving. Your hard-earned dollars should be put to work to get the quality forklift your business needs. But which brand do you choose? Well, let's start with the top manufacturer in the world. Since 2002, Toyota has been the number one selling forklift. That's 18 years in a row. Why, you ask? Well, they have been rated the highest in quality, reliability, and lowest cost of ownership. Besides, everyone loves orange. It's the perfect fruit. It's filled with vitamin C, and you can peel it into bite-sized pieces, or squeeze it to make the perfect mimosa. But don't be sad if you don't own a Toyota forklift yet. It's not too late. Now, let's learn a little bit more about forklifts and how they are best used in your business. First, we will break it down by the five classes of forklifts, starting with class one. These are electric sit-down forklifts, and these are electric stand-up forklifts. Both are excellent for use in your warehouse for loading and unloading trailers. You would use a sit-down electric forklift if the operator has to sit for most of his shift. It can be very annoying for him to have to get on and off the machine to put on a seatbelt. Therefore, you use a stand-up counterbalance forklift. Some people call this a dock stalker, but in our company, that's a bad word, so make sure you call it by the right name, stand-up counterbalance, okay? Class two, these are comprised of reach trucks and order pickers and are meant to use in very narrow aisles, 10 feet and under. Reach trucks are used to put products away at very high heights in a racking system, kind of like when I need to put something up really high on the shelf and I need to use my stilettos. Order pickers, on the other hand, are meant to pick smaller cases from the racking system so that the operator can build a full pallet. But don't forget your safety harness. Moving on to class three. These are the cutest and smallest forklifts. Wait, can forklifts be cute? Are babies and puppies cute? Hello? These units are the most economical when you want to move product around your warehouse at ground level. These are walkies and these are walkie riders. Walkies you have to walk with the unit, so make sure you don't go too far. But walkie riders, you can go straight from the trailer, the full length of your warehouse. Class four, now we're getting to the good stuff. We're talking indoor propane pieces of steel, rugged and refined. These things are the real deal. Hear the engine roar. These IC counterbalance workers do not disappoint. I have customers with over 50,000 hours on these units. They're incredible. They just keep going and going and going. And finally, class five, pneumatic tire forklifts. We're getting heavy now. We're talking larger than life, powerful stuff here. This thing can handle any outdoor application in any weather. Over 15,000 pounds of pure strength. Put it to the test and get ready to be amazed. I hope you learned a little bit more about forklifts today and the reason why you too should have a Toyota forklift in your fleet, so that you can experience the joy and happiness of millions of customers everywhere. Please join me next week when we will dive into a math lesson on the calculation of a cost per hour report. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends so that you can share forklifts with the entire universe. See you next week and don't be late for class.